Okay, I kind of want to give a little bit of a visual as to what we've done with the 175. Um, I did not go over it with a bonnet, I just used a scrub pad. And as you can see, um, well, we had to put down a little bit more chemical because due to coffee spills and that, you can kind of see a little blotchiness, but as it dries, it'll dry completely um, even and everything and look absolutely beautiful. Now, um, I just want to give a little bit of a contrast compared to the area that we have cleaned and then this is, we've only done about maybe one third. And this is the other two thirds of this banquet hall room or whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, coffee galore and spills all over the place. So um, that's technically pretty much what that other side look, looked like. So. Um, the sodium carbonate with the peroxide actually does a very, very, very wonderful, good, clean job. Um, I'm probably going to extract this here because this is pretty heavy. I might come back with some a uh, little bit higher pH product um, just because this is kind of grimy and dirty with all the traffic coming out of the kitchen there and then out there in the foyer through those double doors we're going to be cleaning out there as well probably um because you know coming in through the front door that's most likely where all the debris are going to be coming off of people's feet is right there in the entryway and that is probably has the brunt of the majority of the debris so we'll probably steam that out as well but for now in here this is looking really good with just a scrub using soap free detonator and grease hog okay so it is a little bit difficult to operate one of these things while holding a camera um, because you have to dispense this stuff with one hand usually and then because um, it is gravity fed you got to pull on this little lever here to get that solution to come out down to the floor so but this here is a pretty dramatic spot I don't know if it's a leak from a hose or something um, I know there's been tape residue here in the past and it seems like every year when we come back to clean this guy is back so all we can do is just clean it up treat it with a high pH product I know that there was duct tape along here a few years ago and I did use a bunch of hell gel which is a citrus gel solvent sort of stuff that will uh, get rid of nasty sticky tape residue but this guy here is a constant reminder I guess that we did that a few years ago and this keeps coming back so this kind of tells me that something might be leaking somewhere so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up and try running it one-handed okay it's running and I don't think I'm gonna be able to just well, I might be able to dispense and run this one hand. Let me try this again. Okay, here we go. This is just so that you can see what is actually going on here. We're putting the, the, the product down and we're scrubbing it into all that nasty stuff that's down there. As you can see, it's actually it was doing a pretty nice job. So um, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put the camera down just so I can work with two hands and get the rest of this done. But you get an idea for what what's going on here. And here we be. I am very pleased with the way that the scrub out went in here. Now I'm seeing a lot of these carpets to dry and um, allow this blotchiness to kind of even itself out because there are definitely areas that we had to use more product than others. Um, I don't know how apparent that is in this camera, but there are a few just because we had to put down some extra chemical on some pretty nasty uh, 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 copy. So, but it all pretty much obliterated all the, the nasty brown spotting that was spills and things that were all over the place so now we got ourselves a couple more rooms that we're going to take a look at now so why don't we go ahead in there and take a look at what we're doing